In the fifth petition of the Lord's Prayer, we pray and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And there is an immediate struggle for the Christian who hears that phrase. It is written as though Jesus forgives us how we forgive others. And what makes that even harder to deal with is right after he finishes the prayer, so this is Matthew chapter 6, we get the Lord's Prayer, the immediate verses after, verses 14 and 15, he says it again. If you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. It's again a difficult verse. It's hard to grapple with. And it can cause some doubt and some struggle, certainly. But I'm forgiving. I'm struggling to forgive. What do I do? What does this mean for me? And the parable of the unmerciful servant might be of of use here, where Jesus tells the account of a king, a parable, a king, who has a servant who owes him 10,000 talents. Now, that is like a talent, roughly 20 years pay. So we're talking 200,000 years worth of income this man owes to the king. There's not a chance he's going to pay it back. No way, not going to happen. And he begs for time. If the king will just give him more time, he'll pay back everything he owes. He gives his word. The king has pity on him and forgives the whole debt. He sends him out and he finds a servant who owes him well, a hundred days pay, three months worth of labor. It's not nothing. Sin hurts. That's the picture here. Sin does hurt. It means something, but he doesn't forgive it. He's been forgiven, well, (laughs) this much, and he can't forgive this much. And so he's actually taken back before the master, the king. He's thrown into prison. That's the picture Jesus teaching here as well. I think maybe a helpful way to picture this would be to imagine it that the Lord has, in forgiving us of our sins, he's taken us out of the way of the world, and he's put us in a new place. He's moved us into, I don't know, let's call it a house. He's moved us into a new house, a new home, a home where forgiveness is the norm, where we forgive all the time. We forgive one another. We live in forgiveness. And so if that situation comes up where someone has sinned against us and wronged us, If we say, I'm not going to forgive you, we're leaving the house. We're leaving the place that Jesus has brought us to. We are called to live in forgiveness, not because it's based on our forgiveness, but because it comes from him, it's rooted in him, and our forgiveness of others is rooted in him. To reject forgiving someone else whom the Lord himself has forgiven, to reject that is to walk away from the path of forgiveness Christ has made. It's a tough text, without a doubt. And so we focus on the Lord's forgiveness for us, and we pray also that he would help us to forgive others, just as he forgives us.